Have you ever written a repetitive test with Jest and thought there has to be a better way to do this? In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify repetitive tests with test.h. So there's also describe.h, but in this video, I'm just going to show you test.h because I think it's a little bit more useful. So if we come down and have a look at the syntax, you can see that we call test.h. You can also use it. You can see that we have a, an array here, and inside of that array, we have multiple arrays. So this is a curried function, and the second function is executed with a string and with a callback. And the string here is formatted with printf formatting. So you have percent %p for pretty format, percent %s for strings, percent %d for number, percent %i for integer, f for floating point values, j for JSON, o for objects, etc. And then the callback in this example has three arguments. We have a here is going to represent the zeroth element in the array. We have b is going to represent the first element. And we have expected, which is the expected value. You can see here we call a plus b, so one plus one. And the expected value is obviously going to be two. You can also have an array of objects. And this works very similar to the array of arrays. And it also supports this table syntax here. So you can use templating strings and you can have A, B, and then the expected values. But I'm going to use the array of arrays syntax here. So I have this sum function here, and this is just going to get all the arguments that the function was called with. And we're going to get the keys of that function. We're going to define a result value that's going to default to zero. We're going to loop through all the keys, and then we're just going to increment result by that value. So you can see here we have one, two, three, and the sum of those values is six. The sum of no values is zero because result defaults to zero. And then the sum of one value is going to be that value. And then the sum of lots of values is going to be 55. So let's simplify this test with test.h. So I'm going to say test dot each and then I'm going to put an array here and then inside of that array I'm going to have another array and then inside of that array I'm going to have another one and this array here is going to contain my value so I'm going to put one two three and then I'm going to put six so I expect these values two equals six. So now let's say dot sum. And I'm going to put percent J. So I want this to be a JSON object. So I'm just going to put all of my array items into JSON. And then this should be equal to percent I. So this is an int. And I'm going to supply a callback here. I'm going to say expect sum. I'm going to spread my a value. And then I'm going to say dot to be expected. Let's run this here. And you can see here we get sum one, two, three equals six. So let's copy this line here and we can do the same for sum with no values. So I can just remove all the items from the array. And I can say this should be equal to six. A test is still passing here. Let's do this another time. We can say one is equal to one. Remove that test. And we can do this with our final test here. And you can see this is much simpler than it was before. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe and join the Discord. The invite link is in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.